So, we're gonna talk about the coronavirus. Well, hi there, Dr. Newsom here, and I'm so glad to have you today. Thank you for tuning in. All right, so let's talk about this COVID-19 thing. COVID-19 is a virus, okay? What scientists are telling me is that it is a hybrid of the coronavirus, okay? You got the coronavirus, and which is a very common virus that causes flu-like flu symptoms, okay? Uh, it has been modified, okay? They're saying that there's snippets of HIV in this COVID-19. They're saying that there are uh, snippets of Ebola in it. Um, and there's, there's a lot of other speculation, but this is what people who have actually seen the virus have told me. This is something that's been manufactured. It's been created in a the laboratory. They've messed with it a bit, right? So being that it's synthetic, uh, it's tough for the immune system to just recognize it as anything other than a toxin. If the body is already toxic, it makes it more difficult for the body to recognize this as a toxin, okay? So let's, let's talk about this. It has all virtually all the same symptoms as the flu, okay? So you're... you're your chills, your fever, your upper respiratory, you know, sinusitis and uh, sinus uh, drainage and, you know, the mucusy and all that kind of stuff, sore throat, uh, cough, and things like that. That's how it starts. Um, what is happening in the people that are very susceptible, who are ran down, whose immune systems aren't operating very well, is it ends up in their lungs and just destroys their lungs. And people are dying with pneumonia-like symptoms. It's really caused a big stir. And we have lots of people very, very alarmed about it and lots of countries very alarmed about it. And there's people dying and it's very nasty and horrible. One point that I wanna bring forward on this is for all of us to realize that this is a wake-up call. This is a wake-up call for us for the standard American diet people, okay? For the folks that are following the standard American diet, standard American uh, way of life, the reason this virus is going through so many people and is, is tearing up so many lives is because we don't have the need of fences against it. Okay, the people that are susceptible to this virus are those with weak immune systems. So let's, let's talk about the immune system real quick. Your immune system is a communication system. It's also a defense mechanism, okay? It's also a regulatory mechanism, okay? So your, your immune system is watching everything that's going on inside your body. It's monitoring inflammation. It's monitoring the amount of swelling in the body, the amount of fluid in the body, the amount of nutrients in the body, the amount of bugs in the body, okay? It's monitoring everything inside our bodies. It's also monitoring everything going on around us, okay? It's monitoring our environment just as much externally as it is internally, okay? So our immune system is in constant communication with our nervous system, with our hormonal system, and, and through those systems, it then controls every function in our body. It, the, the immune system is interrelated with everything. If that system has been starved, okay, if you've been eating the standard American diet and you're starving your immune system, you're not giving that system what it needs in order to operate properly, it can't. It can't. It's not possible. I look at this and I see all these people that are dying. We have uh, hundreds of thousands of people that have passed away because of this. And this preys on people that do not have a healthy immune system. So do we work hard and, and make a vaccine for this and... You start vaccinating everybody with a vaccine? Well, 
if you want to just continuously vaccinate everybody, that might work. The probability of that working is very, very low. Last year or the year before, the, uh, the flu virus, the flu vaccine, right? The flu vaccine was uh, 13% effective. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. Would you fly in an airplane that was 13% effective? Would you risk yourself, your health, your well-being? Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Not knowingly, I sure wouldn't. Um, so if we create a vaccine for coronavirus and we give that to everybody, you know what happens? The coronavirus mutates. It mutates real quick. And guess what? If you got vaccinated for it here and it's mutated a couple strains later, you know, it's, it's, it's mutated and it's become slightly different, uh, your immune system isn't going to recognize that as the same microbe, the same virus. Okay, so no, I don't think a vaccine, quote unquote, a pharmaceutical vaccine, conventional vaccine, uh, is is a viable option here. Me personally, I've talked with quite a few specialists in this field, in the virology field, in the immunology field. I've talked to people um, who are heads of state, people who are heads of the health departments in different countries. And the general consensus, all of us, come down to the one same consensus. We all have the same opinion. The only way to really fight this off is to have a healthy immune system. What does it take to have a healthy immune system? What, what, what do you need? What do you need to have a healthy immune system? Well, first off, you have to have a well-fed system. I'm not talking calories. I'm talking nutrients. You gotta get nutrients into your system. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Let's, let's talk about the immune system, okay? So let's talk white blood cells. Okay, so your white blood cells are born in the marrow inside your long bones, your, your, your leg bones, your arm bones, okay? Inside the mar marrow is where the white blood cells are born. They're then hauled off to this little gland behind your, your sternum, your breastbone, called the thymus, okay? And what I tell patients is that it's in your thymus that your white blood cells go through grade school, okay? But after grade school, they're hauled off to your intestines for middle school, high school, and, and then trade school, okay? And their trade is dependent on what type of light, white blood cell they are, right? So they go off to the intestines. Well, if you went to middle school, high school, and trade school in a war zone, um, how skilled at your trade would you come out? Okay? How, how well-educated would you be? Uh, would there be um, higher risk of dysfunction? <laughs> I would say so, right? What if you went to a school where everything was very peaceful, Everything was very well um, organized. Everything was operating very, very like clockwork, very proper, okay? Very few upsets, very few disruptions. Don't you think you could learn more in that environment? Don't you think you'd come out better prepared in that environment? I would say yes, okay? So when your immune system is not functioning well, we have to go back and figure out why. Two of the primary reasons why those of us over here in America uh, have such horrible immune systems is because, number one, our immune system is missing functional units, okay? Meaning nutrients. It's missing nutrition. So nuts and bolts in the machinery are missing. The machinery can't operate properly because it's missing the nuts and bolts. All right, that's number one. Number two, we have horrible digestive tracts over here. Our, the people in our country have horrific, terrible digestive systems. They're completely tore up. They've been destroyed by antibiotics, by glyphosate and other pesticides and herbicides in the food. They've been destroyed by GMOs. All these things have just destroyed people's gut. 
And <laughs> our immune system is going down and getting trained in these horrific guts. And the immune system comes out trained to misbehave. What happens? It does. It misbehaves. Okay? And it throws up a defense when it shouldn't, and it doesn't throw up a defense when it should. Okay? This is exactly what's happening in our country right now. So, what do we do about this, Doc? Okay? Well, number one, we got to get good nutrition. Number two, we got to fix that gut. Number three, we got to give the immune system things that will will help regulate it, okay? And it doesn't matter if you have an autoimmune issue where the immune system is, is misfiring, it's going after things it shouldn't go after, or if you have an immunodeficient situation where you just don't have much immunity, okay? It doesn't matter. Either way we go, you need to replace the nuts and bolts in the machinery, right? you got to get the schools straightened out so everyone is educated properly. Okay, that means the digestive system, all right? And number three, we got to give them the proper materials in order to do their jobs. Okay, if the military is deployed somewhere and we give the truck drivers machine guns, but we give the medics bullets and we give the scouts tanks, (laughs) <laughs> see what I'm saying? The deployment's not going to go too well, right? We've got to get the right components of the immune system, the right things it needs in order to operate properly. So let's talk about that for a minute. So one, um, here's what I do with patients. I use digestive enzymes and probiotics, a very, very um, healthy helpings, very high doses, Uh, to get their gut operational. That's the first thing I do with with my patients. Uh, The the thing I do in conjunction with that is I start them on fulvic acid because fulvic acid has very readily available nutrition. Those, Those nuts and bolts that are missing, fulvic acid can supply them, and it supplies them very quickly and very readily. So we heal faster. Okay, things start to get into operation again very quickly. That's one thing. Uh, Then we have the enzymes and the probiotics behind that that are getting the gut functional again so you can actually extract the nutrition from the food you're eating. While we're doing that, we also have to start correcting the diet. We have to start including food that has nutrition in it. If you're eating food that has no nutrition, where are you supposed to get your nutrients? (laughs) <laughs> okay, how is your immune system supposed to function if it doesn't have all its nuts and bolts? Right? It can't. So you have to supply it with nutrients in order for it to operate properly. And if the food you're eating has no nutrition, where else is it going to come from? All right? So that's where we have to start. Now, once we've started on those types of things on a daily basis, okay, taking your probiotics, taking your enzymes, getting your fulvic, that kind of thing. Okay, once we get started on that, then we have to start working toward, like, detoxing. Okay, if your body's full of toxic waste, do you think that's a healthy place for your immune system to operate from? (laughs) No. If you want good, healthy, strong defenses, do you want a little box that you can hide in? Or do you want to build a castle? Okay, think about the difference here. Okay, we can build a little box and maybe capture this virus and and subdue it for a little while uh, with a vaccine or something like that maybe. Or do we build a fortress? Okay, do we build a fortress out of your immune system? And then it doesn't matter what comes along. Okay, which one do you want? So... If you follow what I'm saying, that's how we build the fortress. Okay, first off, you need nutrition. So if you're missing nutrients, your body can't operate properly. Okay, it doesn't matter what part we're talking about. Your brain, your immune system, your toe, doesn't matter. If you're missing nutrients, things cannot operate properly. 
Number two, your digestive system. How is it that your body receives nutrition? <laughs> Through your digestive system. So we gotta get the nutrients in the system. We gotta get the digestive system functional. Number three, <clears throat> we've got to give the system things like adaptogens, things like medicinal mushrooms, things like uh, herbal extracts, things uh, that enable our body to adapt and handle stress better, regardless of the source. Okay? Um, me personally, I take my super earth energy. That is my favorite adaptogen. I love that. I love my product Strength for Men, too. I take those two daily. I take those every day. I also take my Equalizer. I also take uh, my Black Brew. I take all of those on a daily basis. All of those are adaptogens. And what they do is they enable my body to handle more stress or to handle stress better. I'm going to rant just for a minute here. Um... It's, uh, it's disheartening for me to see all these people run into the super, supermarket, buying out all the toilet paper, preparing for the worst when this little virus is coming along, when the statistics tell us one out of two Americans are going to die or at least contract cancer. They're going to develop cancer in their lifetime. We have one in 38 children in our country that are on the, the autism spectrum. Where's their uh, state of emergency? Think about that for a minute. Is that not alarming to you? We have had a state of emergency in our country. We've had chronic illness run rampant. About 70% of our population has been diagnosed with a chronic illness. That includes children, folks. Uh, we've been in a state of emergency for years. Uh, just all of a sudden, people are scared because some little virus is coming along. And I'm not knocking it. People are dying from this virus. It's terrible. But there's people dying from cancer by the hundreds every day. There are children being diagnosed with Asperger's or autism by the hundreds, the thousands, every day. No one's alarmed about that? Thanks for watching our video today. I want to encourage you, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't, don't get overstressed by all of this that's going on, all this crazy pandemonium. That is going to tear down your immune system. You have to do everything you can to build that immune system. Get that immune system as built up as possible. Do the things that we talked about. Get that immune system up you're going to be all right. So hang in there. Look forward to seeing you again.